All right. Well, welcome to our new home. This is North Star Canoes. This is our new building. And uh, we're gonna take a tour and wander through. Uh, this is land that we purchased uh, last fall. And the building went up over the course of last fall. We moved in in December, so that was 2017. And we're gonna go take a swing into the office and uh, check out the difference. Our old office was 16 by 16. And there's our shop dog, by the way. He visits everyone. Uh, he's kind of the broom. Uh, this is our new office. We got a great deal on furniture. We're allowed to spread out in a way that we were never able to before. We can work without tripping over each other, really is the biggest thing about this office. And of course, we can host people too. We actually even have a conference table with a, with a uh, pinata on it. <laughs> um, and then, let us swing back. This is something that uh, nobody's going to consider to be too interesting, but in truth, it's really cool for us because it's a break room, which means everybody that works here has a chance to come sit down somewhere outside of where they work. Uh, you know, sink microwave fridge is what we had before, but they were all in about a five foot area. And now we've got countertops. We've actually got a table for people to sit at. We've got the back seat of Eli's van as a sofa. We're set. So we're gonna swing out into the shop now. And if I failed to mention it, and I probably have, one of the coolest things is that door, it makes life a lot quieter in the office than it used to be because now I don't ever have a router going in my ear or a planer going in my ear. So I can actually talk to somebody on the phone and hear them, which is pretty neat. This is our factory. Take a look at our storage. It's pretty amazing. It's not a ton. We, we do just in time shipping for the most part, but storage allows us to, to set up loads. We can pull trucks and trailers inside in the wintertime, and in Minnesota, that is pretty critical. Uh, that is something we were unable to do before this. And so it's stunning the impact. We've got our accessory storage uh, right along the way. And of course, some of it's upstairs as well. And what that means for us, again, is that it's more efficient, it's easier to get at. Uh, Lori, the person that does all the accessories, really is able to get a ton more done because she doesn't have to move six bins to get to one bin and walk out to the old fish house out back of the building where a lot of the accessories were stored at the old building. So that's what growth is. You know, we've, we've jumped from a fish house to accessories in the building. And then we'll walk back a little further. We have our scale calibrated by the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, we actually took a 35 pound package over there and had them weigh it uh, to make sure that we ended up with the same weights as what they do. So this is what we weigh the boats on. Uh, we try to make sure we're as accurate as we possibly can. Trim shop. You can see all the wood parts all organized neatly. Uh, a ton of cradles for boats. The ability for the guys in the trim shop to work on multiple boats at once as things set up, as things dry, as they do all sorts of different th work. Um, they've got space to work, which is something we didn't have in the old shop. And then as we move forward, uh, we are doing things like building carbon rails. So this is a mold for carbon rails. It is a boat specific mold for carbon rails that literally is for the Northwind Solo. Every time we make carbon rails for a boat, we have to make a separate mold, uh, which takes a lot of time, but builds a way prettier boat. And so that's the goal. We've got a plug that's in progress. So a plug is what we make a mold out of. And so this will eventually be a new model for us, a little sibling to the Phoenix. Uh, plugs we polish up, we make them all pretty and shiny such that we can actually build a mold out of them. So we try to get rid of all the wow-wows in the wood, all the imperfections in the wood. 
Uh, that means it's covered by gel coat, but ultimately what a plug is, is a cedar strip canoe on the interior. So exactly what the home builder does. It's just we tweak it a great deal so that it can be used for mold. Then we're gonna swing over into the wood trim side of the world and uh, look at all that storage for gunnels, um, all that storage for carbon trim. We've got, we've got space. Uh, and it's not enough space. Ironically enough, we're actually gonna have to expand yet again for R&D purposes. Uh, and that'll be less than a year after we've moved into some place that was almost three times the size of where we used to be. Uh, and so it's a great problem to have, but uh, we need even more. And so now we're gonna head back to lamination. I guess the first thing that comes to most people's minds with lamination is we've got all the cloths. So we've got carbon fiber, we've got Kevlar, we've got Anegra, uh, and then we've got all sorts of different release films and stuff like that. It's amazing what happens when you've got a hand-built product. You know, these, these aren't like plastic kayaks. We don't have robots building them. Every boat is unique, and that's one of the really cool aspects about composite canoes, especially that are hand-laminated, because We've got individual people building these boats and they all have little skill sets and that and the things about how they pull cloth and what have you. And what it means is every boat is a little bit different. You can think of every boat as just like our wood trim. Every last boat has a little bit of a different grain to it, as it were. In the Starlight boats, we get a little different moray pattern depending on how they laid up that cloth. In all the boats, depending on how the wet bag settled, we get little different kind of green patterns based on the folds in that bag. Every boat is hand built. And that's a really unique aspect of what we do because we don't have robots and we never will, which is awesome. We have people. And that allows us to say that we build the best boats we're capable of. And every one of them in Ted's words is gonna have a minor imperfection which is actually really, really cool.